receiving emergency action message. Recommend alert one. Recommend alert one.
it's weighted, it's making the front of the truck a little nose head, like nose bouncy. And since we've already done our tandem fit slide once for another load, to get it all the way forward by uh, playing with the, the where it sits. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to take and actually move the fifth wheel back a couple forward. So to do that. First off, we're going to know where it's at. Right now it's pinned here and here. we got one hole open. We're actually going to move it up so that both of these pins are over. And you got two empties on this side. So the first thing you do to do the fifth wheel move is you drop your landing gear.
today we are gonna make some cornbread. So I have our little aluminum trays here and I sprayed them with cooking spray and then I prepared the cornbread according to the package and we're gonna get them in our um, double burton and cook them on up. All right, everyone, I got hands in there. I did have to kind of fold them down a little bit so they would fit, but once I folded, it was mainly the edges that were the problem. So you just kind of redesign them and go with it. So I've got them in here. We've got it on high, got it on. And I do have the bungee secured like this, so it doesn't slide too much, because we are actually going down the road in Erie, Pennsylvania right now. And hopefully by the time, a couple hours here, We'll check it and hopefully our cornbread will be done. Hey everybody, it's been about an hour since we put our cornbread in. So we're gonna take a peek and see how it's doing. And let's see. Looks like it's firming up really good. It's not brown yet, it's only been an hour. So, but it's looking and smelling pretty good. So we're gonna put it back in and let it do its thing. Okay folks, it's been another hour. So we're at about two hours total cooking the cornbread. And what I had to do was it looks like the back of the stove, or these little Burton stoves. Oven. Oven, thank you. Um, actually cooks faster probably heats up faster so if you can see that the back is still wet but the front here because I turned it around is starting to cook very nicely so turn it around we're gonna let it cook a little longer probably give it another 30 40 hour or so and we'll check it again hey everybody it has been about three hours since we put the cornbread in so we're going to take a peek and it's looking really good we are at the stage where it's all nice and hard we just want it to be golden brown so we're gonna let it keep going and we'll check it shortly again so Nick uh, after about four hours of the cornbread being in the oven what do you think it's cornbread. Um, I honestly think that if you're going for brown, probably the smaller lunchbox because it goes at a higher heat. Because uh, it's more of a heats it up. It's more insulating and it'll probably heat it. So we'll try that one next. Um, or the crock pot because that another one where it gets hot. But either way, you're still going to get condensation in there because it's a trap compared to an oven. It's not like a, a high hot heat. Right. Um, but it is cornbread. I mean, it's brown on the bottom, and I don't think it's going to, I don't think it would be like in a crock pot or a, a uh, I'm trying to think of, Dutch oven. Exactly. It's not going to get completely dark, but it is edible. I mean, and if you can see at this angle, you can see it's darkening up from the bottom up. So probably I'd say put it in, figure at least four or five hours. Right. If you're gonna do the burden like that, yeah. I'd say closer to five hours. Yeah, this door condensates really good, and there's an opening underneath here. So if put you do, there. yeah, if you do purchase that one and are using it, put a. It's not bad. Dip in some honey. I'd actually say dark there's just some honey over this one. I was it reminds me of um, my uncle did a lot of over the Dutch fire oven Dutch oven cooking and when he did that's cornbread that's how Dutch it oven. turned out yep so. all right where's my phone and on that note we're done with the cornbread well, no, somebody can just join our group yeah <laughs> all day long I know. all right on to the next thing so all of you may be wondering what potatoes we do. I don't know if I told you guys what potatoes we do, but we do the Idahoan um, instant potatoes in these little packets. You get them for what, like 99 cents, a dollar? Most of the time we usually get them at Wally World, so usually a buck. And um, the instructions are really simple. It's two cups boiling water. I don't know if you could read that, probably not. Um, two cups boiling water, 
you're probably wondering, Sam, how do you make those in the truck? Well, if you've watched our other videos, I do have the little um, water heater cup thing, which is great. I put two cups of water in there, heat it up. And then I've got this cool little Rubbermaid tote, which is actually um, a three cup, either three or four cup capacity. And I put the potatoes in here. And then I add the water once the water's done boiling. Mix it up, put the cover on. And usually, let's see, even in the time of me turning on the camera and talking to you guys, eh, they could probably use a little bit more. But there you go, you got potatoes. And that usually, sometimes Nick and I don't even eat all of it. So, but that's how I make instant taters in the truck. Oh, come on! What the hell?